Let's run up a million. If you're trying to kiss ass, better get a room. What's up guys, it's February 10th, Thursday, it's 12.26 p.m. This is a daily market update. So diving right into Bitcoin. We're pressing up right now against the trend line, against um, the 200 day moving average, and some overhead resistance, we gotta break through it. So you can see here, let me actually hide some um, of the indicators. So I'll hide the Bollinger Bands and then the EMA ribbon real quick. And we can see we had this trend line coming down that we're supported by in October and November. Then when we broke through it, we had that crash down. Then we came, um, we consolidated sideways, came up to it, got rejected by it. And then we came back down to that same area of support. Then once we broke through that, we tanked. Then now we're, we're pressing up against it right now. We're pressing up. So we want to get through that. We want to get above that level. We get above that level it's likely we come up and test this box of resistance uh starts at like fifty thousand psychological level to around fifty three thousand and then we we definitely want to get above 55 56 but this is going to be that resistance level um this box right here and then right above it we have the fibonacci moving average which will act as resistance as well if we can press up like this so we break through this and it looks like we're gonna because we have some momentum we have like a convergence like that we'll know we'll know within the next couple of days but um we'll come up like this and we'll probably likely come up to this area um maybe we'll find some resistance there or maybe we'll just plow right through it and then come up to this fibonacci moving average but this is a level that we need to get above absolutely need to get above if we don't we'll get rejected maybe come back down retest the support level again maybe do something like uh, inverse head and shoulders like that and then we can keep going like this but that's that level right here that this like 50,000 to 55 56,000 that we're going to need to break through if we're going to continue higher um i would like to see if we get up to there have a brief pullback like that and then go so we can gain up more momentum to really have a sustained rally if we just press up and we shoot up just very quickly uh, i'll be a little cautious but at the moment it's looking good so let me actually delete this now and then let's put on the ema ribbon so the EMA ribbon, we're um, above it right now. We're holding our support. We came down this, to the wicks right there, and we we got bought up from that point. So we need to break above the 200-day moving average, sitting around like $46,000, $47,000. Um, we get above that, that'll be nice because you can see in the past, it's acted as an area of support to resistance, to support, to support, to resistance, and right now we're pressing up against it. You can even look further back. You can see that um, support, support all across this whole thing so the 200 day moving average we want to get above it and then we want to have the ema ribbon come up and cross through the 200 day moving average flip green and then hold it as support and we can have a sustained uptrend so that's what we want to watch it's what we want to watch let's dive to uh the four hour real quick so we can go on the short time frames uh, yeah so we're already starting to press through from um we had like a dump down this morning i think it was around like 8 a.m or 9 a.m and then we immediately shot back up immediately shot back up you see the the green volume there as well too and we're starting to make new highs from um the previous point february 8th yeah so we're starting to push we're starting to push forward we're holding the uh four hour no this is a one hour chart the ema ribbon nice on the one hour so that's what i'm going to be watching um for the lower time frames so we want to see that we want to hold 40 43,000, 44,000 um at this point so we can keep pressing higher to that resistance box now let's go to ethereum so Ethereum right now, we, we reclaimed that Fibonacci moving average, and now we're like we're having another convergence. We have the 200-day moving average, we have the Fibonacci moving average coming up, and we're gonna have the EMA ribbon coming up. We've already kind of dumped down. You see the wick there? Let me actually zoom in a little closer. So this morning we came down, we retested the Fibonacci moving average, and we've already gotten bought and back up to the point of 3,235. We came down to like three, thousand uh 100 earlier but we're already up to this point it looks like we're going to shoot if we can shoot through this get above the 200 day moving average and then hold it as support like this so this convergence going on we get above oh so we have the convergence we get above hold that support and then we keep pressing forward then we can retest this fibonacci moving average around 4800 which will be the previous all-time high 
it'll be the previous all-time high but before we get there we got to break through four thousand dollars um because you can see we had a resistance there resistance there um when we broke above four thousand we held it as support for a bit then when we broke through it got rejected by four thousand then we tanked down so if we get above four thousand we reclaim it as support we're golden we're golden and we're going to get our answer within the next couple of days because we have this convergence. But by the looks of Bitcoin, by the looks of the whole market and all the news that's coming out, it seems like it's going to break through. We're going to come back down, hold the support and keep heading higher. I believe the next two to three months, we're going to be in a sustained uptrend. And then around maybe like April, May, June. Um, no, I'm sorry. Around May, June, July, around like the summertime, we'll start to die back down and then have a sustained rally later in the year. But um. We're, we don't need to look that far out. We're going to play a level by level. And we know that we need to get above 3,350, 3,400. And then we can start targeting 4,000. Then we break above that. Um, we'll retest the Fibonacci moving average, which will be a retest of the all time high. And then we break above that. We have these Fibonacci times on our side. Because remember, the Fibonacci moving averages just keep going up with time. So with this correction, now the green Fibonacci moving average is at. 8,500 and the red one is at 16,379 we, we're gonna we're gonna get up to those levels it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when so let's keep going here xrp so xrp right now this is a 15 minute time frame um i'm watching the short term because i have a femex trade in i hit the bottom at like 59 cents with a 7x leverage um, and it's doing pretty nice right now. So I want to watch the short term because if it starts to roll over, I want to get out and then secure that profit, have it dumped down, watch those indicators. If they start to curl back up again, buy back in with some leverage and compound those gains. But right now we're holding on the 15 minute 200 MA as support. And, um, we just want to break above this EMA ribbon, flip it, um, from red to green, hold that support, keep flying high here. And then let's go to the one day because on the one day we can see. Uh, it looks like um, I'm offline here. So I can't dive into the one day right now because, see, you're offline. The markets aren't. Don't miss your move. Something's going on with the Wi-Fi here. So um, let me try this. Yeah, so no shot with the Wi-Fi. But um, all right, let's keep diving in. So XLM, the Sana um, one day chart, where we got back above the Fibonacci moving average, the blue one, and we're trying to get above the EMA ribbon and flip it um, to bullish. So last time when we had our correction, we got back into the EMA ribbon. We kind of worked ourselves out in that zone until we had a decisive break above it, flipped it, held that support, and then um, it was a failed rejection up here. But that's what we want to see. Just like back here, we might toy around with the EMA ribbon, kind of have that convergence in. And then when it's ready to go, it will shoot up. We want to get above the 200 MA and around 30 cents. Then we get above that. Then Fibonacci moving average at 42 cents, perfectly aligned with these uh, previous resistance zones. So that's what we want to target. We want to target to break 30 cents and then 42 cents. Then we can target the orange Fibonacci moving average, which will coincide with these all-time highs back here. And those are the levels to watch. So the, those are 100% the levels to watch. Um, I think we have a strong move out of Stella right now, and XRP had a strong move. So if XRP is going to have a strong move, Stella usually uh, follows along with it. So um, that's what we want to watch. We want to hold 22 cents now at this point, at least 20 cents uh, for sure, for sure. Now let's go to Quant. So Quant, um, let me hide the Bollinger Bands. So Quant came all the way down to 90 bucks, and look where it held support, the blue Fibonacci moving averages. Guys, these indicators work. If it breaks one level, you can target the next. If it breaks above the uh, one level, you can target the next one. So it broke below the green, went to the orange, broke below the orange, went to the blue, uh, light blue, bro broke below the light blue, went to the blue. And now we're kind of turning around. And if we can break above the light blue, we can target the orange. We break above that, target the green. You know what I mean? So look at this volume spike right here, though. Big volume spike. Um, bounce off this level great we want to get above the teal fibonacci moving average around 160 dollars and then above the 200 ma around 175 we do that we'll flip the ema ribbon to green it will cross through the fibonacci moving average cross through the 200 ma and then we'll probably come back down hold it as support and then we can keep going higher with higher highs higher lows and then we'll have to break through 250 dollars to then retest the all-time highs at the gr green fibonacci moving average around like 450 bucks coincide with that point there but we definitely want to hold uh if we do come back down maybe like 112 
um, or just the EMA ribbon right here, it's preferably if we were to come down and we just want to mess in the EMA ribbon, get above decisively, have that um, cross up. We don't want to come back down below it again, no. So that's what we're looking at there. We can see the indicators here. Um, if we go to the three day, I might not have Wi-Fi at this point. Okay, I have Wi-Fi. So we had the cross up, we had the cross there, we had the cross in the MACD. We were in extreme fear, went to neutral concerns, so you like to see that. Strong bounce, strong bounce. We just want to get above the 160, 180 uh, around this. Then we can target the orange and then the green. So same old deal. Then let's go to flow because flow is outperforming right now. So flow is outperforming. You see the Bollinger Bands start. Both mouths are open. And it's what you like to see when you see a strong move. Um, we're getting up, we're above the EMA ribbon. Beautiful. We already came down, retested it. You see the long wick right there. And then now we're having um we're pushing up higher. We're having that EMA ribbon flip from red to green. So it'll be like this. If we can keep pushing up here, maybe we retest the 200 MA perfectly coinciding with the blue Fibonacci moving average. And then we'll see the EMA ribbon cross from red to green like this. Then we'll come back down, hold that support, maybe work ourselves out in the zone, have that convergence like this. See what I mean? And then we get above, hold that support, then we can target the teal then the orange and same old story there as well but as far as i'm concerned we really just got to look at bitcoin if bitcoin's holding up well it's making higher highs higher lows it's starting to turn back around turn the tides then we can safe to say that the altcoins will at least start to rally as well too some might outperform bitcoin some might not but when we're looking at the whole entire market as a whole we're mostly in altcoins we want to look at bitcoin because bitcoin's going to tell us how the market is going to move so with Bitcoin looking pretty nice right now, um, the altcoins can see a strong bounce out of them soon. We can see how like we're kind of like at this point. If we're looking at the past correction, we're like at this point. So we still have more to go. We still have more to go. So right now it's looking nice. Um, definitely we have strong resistance at like 12, 13 bucks. We want to get above that. And then we want to hold support at like six dollars, 50 cents. That's what we want to see. Um, preferably like seven bucks if we were to come back down. But yeah, so that's it for the daily market update, guys. Everything's looking smooth. If anything changes, I'll be in the Discord with an emergency update. But yeah, it's looking fine right now. So it's Thursday, uh, 12.38 p.m. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be in the Discord. I'll make a video on that autograph thing uh, about utilizing autograph and getting a signed Rob Gronkowski NFT. I'll show you how I did it for Tom Brady. So that video will be coming out later today. So I'll see you there. Let's run up a minute. Living on Main Street, I've been trying to get dough, no patience.